Welcome to Sheru, where I'm joined by Albert Roux, of course, of the Roux dynasty. Needs no introduction. And Neil Phillips, who also to our channel well, needs no introduction. Here we go, Tom. Day uh, two. Th th Neil, first of all, uh, thank you for, for organising this with, with Albert. Very kind of you to do this. It looks wonderful here. It's absolutely fantastic in Sheru. We had a wonderful, wonderful day yesterday. It was brilliant. The team did absolutely fantastic well. We had so much great feedback about the food, the whole experience, the wines, everything. Mm. It was a beautiful day. Albert, just uh, tell us what goes into planning a, a day like this with so many guests at Sheru. Organization, delegation. Delegation, I think, is the most important. But you have to check who you delegate to. You've got to trust. That's it. Uh, Albert, you can see that you have been working. You haven't been sat with your feet up because there's a bit of food down the top. Yeah. Um, it might be eating some soup as well. <laughs> Uh, what uh, is on the menu today? And of course, we're, we're pairing a wine with this. Neil is responsible for that. What is on the menu today at Sheru? You've got a show here. You've got a lobster. Then you've got a chocolate dessert. Now, there's also deer. There's fish as well, with a Japanese uh, twist into the dish of the fish. There's a fantastic onion soup. French onion soup? Today it's a bit cold. Onion soup. Not French onion soup or onion soup? What's the difference? The onion. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference? No, no, no. It's an onion soup with cider from Somerset. Ah, I see. So it's very, it's very British onion soup. And the onion are British as well. Good to hear. Now, what is the right plan of action with regard to wine and food? Should we try the food first, Albert, or should we try the wine first? I think that uh, we should try the wine first and see whether that gentleman has done his job properly. I think and matching the wine with the food. I think that's a good idea. He does, I have to say. Thank He's you, very Albert. good, isn't he? He's not bad. <laughs> so wine first. Albert, you have one here. Uh, there we go. I'll give that to you, sir. I have one here. Uh, it's the bottle in the middle of the table. Now, just tell us what this is, please, Neil. So we've got a white here coming right down from the south of France. It's a collaboration between Michel Roux Jr., Michel Chapoutier, fantastic winemaker. And we've got a very nice, delicate, elegant white here. Just a little bit of richness in there as well. And this wonderful acidity as well, which is going to be perfect with a lobster. And when you actually just have a smell, You've got that lovely freshness coming across as well, and that slightly sort of apricot-y character coming across from this blend. And when you taste... Fantastic. Thoughts, Albert? Yeah, I agree with that. That's a go well with the lobster. You think it'll go very well with the lobster? Absolutely. It will enhance the flavour of the lobster. It really is very nice. What are we expecting to taste in? Well, what, we, what you're doing, you've got that... I like that little richness you've got there, a little bit of peach character you're getting through as well, Tom. But there's a little bit of richness there, but also for me as well, which is lovely, it's acidity precisely, and that's so important here with this wine. And that's why this wine is so good for pairing as well, because it will pair beautifully with the lobster. Also for guests today as well, that little bit of acidity, guests will just go, that's great, I like that, and I'll come back and I'll enjoy some more of this wine with this dish. And that's really important. And most, you know, the thing we're looking for with wines, Tom, and experience is balance, and this wine has lovely balance of fruit and acidity as well. Really lovely wine, and it's going to complement the lobster, you say, Albert. So I'm, I'm going to taste it. I'm, I'm going to taste it. I'm literally reaching for my fork as we speak. The pudding is in the eating. Tell me what I'm expecting to taste here, and I'm literally going to get stuck in, Albert. Expecting an explosion of delight in your mouth. That's what I'm expecting. What is there fruit in here? Sorry. Is there a, is there a fruit in here? I'm looking at as well, or not? Yes. You see that little mango. This is quite a big bit. Here we go. Oh, you've done that before. <laughs> I took it too big a bit. How's it really is an explosion of flavour. That's absolutely delicious. Is it? What's the dressing on there, Albert? Asian dressing. Buy my book, and uh, it's uh, listed in the book. And what about pairing fruit with lobster? Is that an easy process? No, it depends what kind of fruit. You got too much the flavour. There's not that much flavour in a lobster. You want to revive the lobster, and that revives it. And it does go with the wine very well. I'm going to move on to dessert, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to pass this to Neil. Now I'm going to give you another fork, Neil, and you're very welcome, oh, sir, very to much. get stuck in. So there's a, a fork for Mr. Phillips. Tell, very kind. tell us about this dessert, please, Albert. 
Well, it's a very simple in these days. It's pure chocolate to start with. There's no uh, coconut into that. It's a roll. It's a Swiss roll. If you remember, well, you're too young to remember that Swiss <laughs> roll from Lion's Corner House. So it's filled with a mousse of chocolate inside and a little um, cherries. I've got a cherry here. Yeah. You really love, you have to love chocolate to love that. I think it's a nice dessert. And not too rich. I don't like a dish that's too rich. It's not too rich at all. Too rich. You can feel the chocolate. It's fantastic chocolate there. And, and would you have a dessert wine with this? Could you carry on drinking the Roussillon with this, Albert? Not uh, very keen myself on dessert wine, but uh, ask the master there. He will sure guide you to a good dessert wine. What would you have with this, Neil? Well, we do have a wonderful uh, Gironçon. White, white dessert wine from France, not too sweet, importantly not too sweet, because what you're trying to do with Albert's dessert, it's not easy with chocolate precisely, and you want to actually have a, the sweetness of the dessert matching perfectly with the sweetness of the wine, and that's what you can do with a, this Jurançon dessert wine, and just giving that balance again, that's the experience. If one's too sweet, then it overrides the other, and that's where it doesn't work at all in terms of a pairing. But some people today, they may also carry on drinking the reds as well. They're going to carry on. We've got such a big choice here, Tom. You're, he's looking so envious, aren't you? Uh, Albert, what a wonderful experience this is. You love coming here and, and, and being part of the races, do you, and, and having this many people at Sheru? Well, I love horses, but not on the plate. I don't eat horse meat. <laughs> like some, Quite right. Like some, uh, some French people eat horse meat. Uh, I hate horse meat as a young boy during the war because that was the, about the only meat available for the populace. Uh, but I love racing, I love the atmosphere and particularly Cheltenham. I think Cheltenham is unique in the world and I think what makes the, un unique, the thing unique is the Irish. They have that sort of charisma, great raconteur, great eater, great drinking buddies. It's unique. I completely agree. Unique atmosphere here at Cheltenham, unique food as well, and unique wine. What a wonderful experience this was. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. It's thank a you. pleasure. Thank it's you. a day two. Thank you, Albert. Great pleasure.